So this is just a quick video about how to actually change, um, unformat, convert unformatted content to formatted content. So what do I mean by that? So I actually have been working on this development planning board. It's a SharePoint project. I know. Don't let's not have the conversation about SharePoint. Okay. I use it for very specific purposes, and it's a web page. It has a title. It has a heading. A couple of things have priorities, etc. And while we're doing some of the discussion, the question was, can we get this in sort of a more structured format? So Excel basically, so that we could kind of add data on top of it and filter it, et cetera, by all the priority one, et cetera. So the good thing was about this is that I was literally about to just sit and just kind of write this out manually. It was gonna be copy, you know, create an Excel spreadsheet and, um, and then, you know, put like a, so put like a t uh, type and then um, category and priority, right? So it's gonna do all that. And then from there, the goal was, oh my goodness, really? The goal was to just copy, okay, so the type is front end. Development, right? You get the idea. Category would be UX design priority would be one and then it would just keep going on and on then it would be like home page actually there's supposed to be task underneath there task home page etc right you get the idea um and yeah just manually data entry this stuff however just got me thinking well why not use chat gpt for this so what i did is it basically just highlighted the entire thing copy it, came over to chat TPT, ba, ba, ba. and go down to number four, because we always want the latest, and then say, can you convert this to a CSV file? Wit, let's do wit, the title, category, hmm, TGOR Carigary Task. Actually, I didn't even do that before because I just didn't do anything. But um, yeah, I didn't do anything. So what I did is I did that and then I just pasted the content and press enter. And sure enough, it says I can convert the file. Now, this is interesting. It's giving me something very different from before. So, task title, task priority. Yeah, title, task, priority. So what is the title, front end development, UX development required, home page. So this will at least get you started. And then from there, you could just think, so I did this before. What I find interesting is that here is giving me sort of like a copy. Um, I did this before earlier and it just gave me this without any formatting. But in the end, they'll generate the same thing. Now it did say title and this time, in this case, it did category. So there are some differences if you keep generating the same thing. However, whatever results you get, it's a CSV file. So all you need to do from that particular point is come over here, just create a new file. I don't know, ah, oh, just my downloads folder. So new file, new text file, and then you could say, whatever, data, file, taskless, right? Open that up, paste it in there, paste, save, close, rename the file. I'm in Windows 11, so I gotta do this stupid thing here. Rename CSV, yes, and then open up in Excel. Come on, Excel. Today would be nice. Yeah, there we go. Right? So don't have to manually type that anymore. And obviously there's still some cleanup work to be done, but look at this. I have a I have a basic foundation that I could start with. Come on. Yeah. 
So I have a basic foundation that I could start with. Actually, let me put the email on the other side, then it'll be easier. Right? And yeah, so here, now I just need to just come in, pull this all the way down. Right? Set up new project, auth implementation. So it didn't get it 100% right, but it got it pretty close. Right? It got it pretty close. So the point is, I don't have to necessarily think I could just go in here and just sort of clean things up accordingly. Mobile development, backend scheduling, all this is related to schedule. Yes. This is something else, background jobs. You get the idea. So yeah, but the point is it definitely gave me a head start. I just need to clean it up a little bit, organize it just a teeny bit more. And then from there, I have a list that I could then sort of obviously do some filter on. So, you know, standard Excel stuff, I need to do that, right? But now I could filter and say, you know what, give me all the uh, front end, uh, back end development stuff. Like, okay, and just filter specifically on that, right? So that's basically the goal. So just thought I'd share this tip on how to um, use ChatGPT to help you with dealing with sort of unstructured data and trying to get it into a structured format in a very fast, efficient manner. So hopefully that's been helpful. Thank you.